Have you ever wondered what makes helicopters soar majestically in the sky? The answer lies in the heart of their propulsion system, the turboshaft engine. This marvel of engineering, often hidden under sleek metal casings, is the beating heart that breathes life into these flying machines. It's more than just a mechanical device, it's a symphony of moving parts, each playing a crucial role in the grand concert of flight. Imagine a world where the laws of physics are harnessed, where air and fuel dance in a fiery ballet, creating energy that pushes against the sky. This is the world of the turboshaft engine. It's a world that's as complex as it is captivating, a world that we'll be exploring in depth. We'll be peeling back the layers of this mechanical marvel, revealing the intricate details of its operation and the principles that govern its design. So buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of turboshaft engines. A turboshaft engine might look complex, but at its core, it consists of four main components. First, we have the compressor. Like a supercharged vacuum cleaner, it sucks in and pressurizes air, which is then ready to mix with fuel. Next is the combustion chamber. This is where the magic happens. The pressurized air and fuel mix ignite, creating a powerful explosion. This explosion generates a high-speed exhaust gas, the driving force of the engine. The third component is the turbine. Think of it as the engine's windmill. It harnesses the energy from the high-speed exhaust gas, spinning rapidly to generate power. Lastly, we have the output shaft. This is the final destination for all that generated power. The spinning turbine turns this shaft, which is connected to whatever the engine is designed to power, like a helicopter rotor. Now that you know the main components, it's time to understand how they all work together. The process starts with the compressor, the first stage in the operation of a turboshaft engine. This is where the magic of air transformation begins. The compressor functions like the engine's lungs, drawing in vast quantities of air, much like a deep breath. It then goes a step further, squeezing this air into a compact high-pressure state. The compressor is a vital cog in the turboshaft engine's operation. It prepares the air for the next stage, the combustion chamber, where it will play a crucial role in the production of power. The compressor is a marvel of mechanical engineering, capable of handling extreme pressures and temperatures. Its operation is a delicate balance maintaining the right air pressure while avoiding overheating which could lead to engine failure. This is the power of the compressor, a fundamental component in the turboshaft engine turning air into a potent force. With the air now compressed we move on to the next stage, the combustion chamber. Now, we arrive at the engine's powerhouse, the combustion chamber where the magic really happens. Imagine the combustion chamber as a high-pressure stage where compressed air and fuel are the lead actors. The compressed air, heated and packed tight from our previous stop at the compressor, meets with fuel, injected at high speed. This meeting isn't a gentle handshake, it's more like a high-octane explosive dance ignited by a spark. This spark is the catalyst for a powerful combustion process that transforms our duo into a high-pressure, high-temperature gas. This gas, now packed with energy, is on a mission. It doesn't stay put in the combustion chamber, oh no, it's got places to go and things to do. It's first stop, the turbine. The turbine, a series of bladed wheels, sits in the path of this high-pressure gas. As the gas blasts through, it imparts its energy to the turbine, causing it to rotate at high speed. It's kind of like a windmill in a gale, but on a much larger and more intricate scale. The turbine's rotation isn't just for show, it serves a crucial purpose. It drives the compressor at the front of the engine, providing the necessary power to keep the cycle going. But that's not all. Part of this rotational energy also goes to the output shaft, which powers whatever the engine is designed to drive. It could be a helicopter rotor, a ship's propeller, or even an industrial generator. So you see, the combustion chamber and turbine are the dynamic duo that bring a turboshaft engine to life. It's a continuous, self-sustaining cycle of ingesting, compressing, combusting, and exhausting. And it all happens in the blink of an eye, thousands of times a minute, right here in the heart of the engine. And there you have it, the heart of a turboshaft engine, where air and fuel mix to create a force that moves mountains, or in this case, helicopters. So, let's quickly recap the journey we've taken inside a turboshaft engine. We started by exploring its basic anatomy, each component playing a crucial role in the overall operation. The compressor, the heart of the engine, draws in and compresses air, preparing it for the next stage. 
Then we dove into the combustion chamber where the compressed air meets fuel. The high pressure mix ignites, creating hot gas that rushes out with force, spinning the turbine with immense energy. The turbine in turn powers the compressor and other systems, making the turboshaft engine a self-sustaining powerhouse. It's a cycle where each part feeds into the next, and the whole system works in unison to create thrust and power. Remember, the turboshaft engine isn't just a collection of parts, it's a symphony of engineering and physics where every piece has a part to play and every movement matters. And that's the secret behind the power of a turboshaft engine. It's a fascinating blend of engineering and physics, all designed to keep helicopters in the sky.